Hey, so today I, I wanted to address something that's something I want to set the record straight on for some time. Uh, and it's basically a lot of people asking me, hey Andy, why don't you use a pick when you play guitar? And I want to clear that up today. And, and you know, the answer actually is that I do, in fact, use a pick. Always have. I hope that clears that up. Thank you guys for watching and, and please like, comment, and subscribe, baby. Now, but seriously, I do use a pick, but it's obviously the subject of a lot of the comment sections when I post a video. Where's the pick? Why aren't you using a pick? I'm using a pick, all right? I'm gonna clear that up right now. It's in there. I'm gonna roll one of the videos and we can have a look. I do have quite an unusual picking technique. I did not realize I was doing this until I watched myself back on the video. First off, I use very small picks. This is my custom Windspear pick. It's roughly the size of a Jazz 3 Dunlop pick. And it's also translucent. And it kind of blends into the color of my skin. So nobody can see these in the videos. And thus I get comments saying, dude, wait, 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 you're, not, you're not using a pick? You're not using a pick now? What's going on? Well, I am using a pick. I'm using these. They're the best picks I've ever had. And you can get yourself one of these custom picks from the Windspear website now. I think I just spat. I don't know if the camera will get that. Well, actually, the main thing is that most people hold their picks between their index and their thumb, like this. I don't know if you can even you get on that. Some grip action there. I have an unusual habit of holding the pick with my middle finger and my thumb. And I lightly rest my index on the pick, but it's really not doing much. It's just steering in the right direction. So all of my power from my picking comes from these two fingers and then he's just kind of just coming along for the ride, you know what I mean? But what I didn't realize was I was doing something even stranger. Whenever I play a sustained note, I seem to do this little movement and stealthily flick the pick under my middle finger and pinch it into my palm out of sight, which frees up my thumb and index finger to mute the strings either side of the string I'm sustaining. When I'm ready to play the next note, the pick gets flicked back into position seamlessly. Now, until somebody pointed this out to me, I had no idea I was doing this. This is a completely subconscious movement. Um, I guess I just sort of developed it over the years. Just before going into a tapping section, I'll be playing. He gets slid into this position, give it a little tap, come sliding out. But it's kind of seamless. It's unconscious. I just do it. And it's kind of cool. I learned how to play piano long before guitar. I was probably about five years old when I started to learn piano and I, I learned in a classical way, a very regimented scales theory sight reading kind of boring way. I was sick to my stomach by the end of it. And when I picked up the guitar at about 11 years old after all that regimented bullshit, I was on an adventure of learning and I was not about to start reading a book to start learning theory and scales again. I wanted the good stuff. I just wanted to play for fun. No more boring exams and nerve-wracking competitions with the neighboring boarding school posh twats. I just wanted to go on an adventure with the guitar and learn my own way. So I guess I learned some pretty weird techniques along the way. <laughs> when I picked up a guitar, something really special happened. There was no more judgment. There was no like regimented measured learning anymore. It was just, it was that personal journey, an adventure with my instrument and, and with myself and yeah. I didn't have lessons, I just found my own way. But because I was jumping so ahead of the game, I wasn't prepared to learn the fundamentals. I was just wanting to learn all these crazy tapping licks, basically. So I would tap with my index finger, so my number one finger, right? So you just go hard with that. And then uh, I would pick up a plectrum and intrinsically that would go between my middle and my thumb to leave my index finger free for tapping. So an unusual technique formed because of that, I suppose. On this journey and I was tapping and I was middle fingering everything and it was great. That sounded wrong as hell. I'm not sure if this is true, but apparently Eddie Van Halen has the same technique, which makes sense because he was a huge inspiration for me and you know he's a big tapping guitar pioneer. So uh, it makes sense that he does the same thing. Now I'm not telling you, you should do this. I'm not saying that this is advantageous in any way. If you want to do eight, finger tapping, or oh, sorry, maybe maybe I should say seven finger tapping if you just use those three, it would actually be beneficial to have the pick in your index finger to allow yourself to tap with those three. I'm a little bit limited because I hold it there 
So if I'm doing seven finger tapping, I have to kind of, I have to do this instead of that. So it, it's not a better technique. It's just interesting. So as a result of all that, I have a very unusual picking technique. I've heard some people refer to it as the eagle grip, which I love, by the way. In reality, I could relearn how to hold a pick and how to play guitar properly, but the thing is, that's my sound, you know, that's my signature sound, and so much of your tone comes from your hands, and the angle of the pick is pretty much everything, you know? It's the way you personally attack the strings in your way. I don't mean like a personal attack on the string, with maybe like hurling abuse at the string brand. That's not, I'm talking about that, right? I'm talking about how you hold the pick, how you attack the strings in your way. If you do it like that, Great. It doesn't matter if I use a different guitar, a different amp, a different tone. I love it when people tell me that they know it's me playing just from hearing a couple of notes. That's a great feeling. I think if you've got an unusual technique yourself, maybe hang on to that. You know, it's those small differences that give you your sound. And that is effectively branding in itself. That is your sound, that is your product. And it's personal to you. I can also downpick like a motherfucker like this. So I, I really don't think there's any need to change, baby. Anyway, that solves the age-old question that one or two people commented once a while ago uh, about one of my videos asking why I don't use a pick. I guess it's a slow content day. I'm sorry about that. If you hold your pick in an unusual way, please comment below and we can all have a good old chat about that and how your picking technique is subpar and we can all bully you online and do all that fun stuff that YouTube does. And maybe your comment will help boost this video. Think of that, and then I'll get 10,000 subs, because I'm, I'm not far off, right? Get the 10,000 subs, and then celebrate with a video of me relearning guitar the conventional way. How about that? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. No. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. Thanks for letting me clear that up. I do use a pick. I hold it in a weird way. It's the eagle grip. Get used to it. And stay safe, guys. It's a crazy world right now. Gotta stay safe, gotta stick together, gotta subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because that's gonna help. In the grand scheme of things, that's gonna help. It's gonna help me. Uh, you can't put a price on subscribers. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, cheers!